Hi friends, it's Pastor Andy and I wanted to share with you a few thoughts about the first day of Holy Week. Yesterday was Palm Sunday and as Jesus rode into Jerusalem for the last time of his earthly ministry, the people lined the streets shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Today on Monday, just one short day later, Jesus sets about his father's work. In Matthew 21, 12, we read, Jesus entered the temple and began to drive out all the people buying and selling animals for sacrifice. He knocked over the tables of the money changers and the chairs of those selling doves. He said to them, the scriptures declare, my temple will be called a house of prayer, but you have turned it into a den of thieves. The apostle Mark tells us in 1118 that the religious leaders began planning how to kill him. As we prepare our hearts for Jesus' sacrifice this Friday, let us remember what we read in Philippians 2, 6 through 8. Though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave, and he was born as a human being. When he appeared in human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on the cross. The very God who walked among us did this just so he could minister to us. What does this all say? Humility is a very difficult thing to understand. We all want to be recognized and loved, rewarded. That's just how we are, right? We are needy. And yet the one who deserved to be recognized chose not to be. And he is our best example of how to live our everyday lives. In this weird, unexpected time, when we feel as if we have to fight for our basic needs, toilet paper, eggs, air, space, let us remember Jesus as God who walked among us and chose to wash his disciples' feet because they were dusty. Blessings.